Here in Oregon, we're fortunate to have not only an expanded occupational health surveillance grant to study what are called the occupational health indicators, we also have the fatality assessment and control evaluation program, which gives us the, the funded time to dig deeper into these most tragic occupational safety events where somebody's lost their life and um, look for ways to document the story and identify prevention recommendations for other people working in those same industries. Our investigation reports are able to dig into root causes so we can really develop some safety prevention recommendations to provide to employers and also fellow safety and health professionals. We are different from OSHA in that important regard where OSHA is really just enforcing regulation and they actually like us because they say we can take their message further. The outreach Part of my job here is developing toolbox talks, giving presentations to a variety of audiences, both, um, for example, construction workers or participating in committees with other construction safety people, um, presenting at conferences where we talk about our research and we talk about our outreach efforts and some of the investigations, providing case studies as examples of the things that are happening and, and how we can help prevent them. Here in Oregon, we view the, the NIOSH funding for our expanded occupational health surveillance as just a precious resource. And this includes opportunities to participate in events like the Stand Down. The Stand Down event is an annual event that's part of the National Falls Prevention Campaign. They dedicate a day to you know, stand down from the work and let's take a moment and really focus on some prevention of serious hazards from falls. We're really pleased to be able to partner with Oregon OSHA and the University of Washington's continuing ed program with their OSHA Training Institute to provide some content. We've supplied some of our toolbox talk guides um, and they actually hold a five-hour class that is an OSHA course on fall hazard awareness and it's been very well attended and lots of interaction and lots of sharing of ideas and a lot of people have said, you know, that just the conversations among the class attendees, you know, is at least as valuable as the lecture part of the class, which is also very informative. So it's a very good event that we have here in Portland. As an occupational health scientist, I think it's important for us to pay attention to the most dangerous occupations and activities that workers do. And so I, I view personally the Stand Down as uh, an important event because it dials into construction as one of America's highest risk industries. It's also a high risk industry globally. And then drilling down into that number one cause of workers being killed on the job. When a fatality occurs on a work site, it really, the impact affects people at every level and both within the company and even outside the company, neighbors and friends, it's the ripple effect is huge. It's hard to realize that this is a, a person who yesterday was just doing his job. And that's why I'm passionate about my profession because it's just, to me, it's inexcusable that it's still kind of a, an underling of a topic until some tremendous event occurs and then we start paying attention and that's had a lot of conversations with colleagues and, and co-workers about being proactive versus reactive. And, you know, people think, well, it's going to happen to someone else, you know, that won't happen to me. And then bang, it's, um, it's a horrible wake-up call to have to go through. And the companies who are more proactive, you know, may not see direct effects right away, but they just know it's the right thing to do, and then it does pay off. For people in other states who maybe don't have a NIOSH grant to, to conduct occupational health surveillance or to investigate occupational fatalities and study and prevent them. And you've got an interest in trying to get involved and participate in the stand down to prevent construction falls. I'd encourage you to reach out to states that do have that NIOSH funding and ask about their experiences and what's worked for them and what hasn't worked for them. It doesn't take a, a lot to do something. And like us, even with funding, we started small. And 
our efforts each year grow and get better as we learn from our efforts to just do something. So reach out, rely on NIOSH and other states with resources for ideas and just get started small and build from there. The goal is get people to go home safely every day.